Well, good morning, everyone, from Walt Disney World's Fort Wilderness inside the Magic Kingdom Resort in Orlando, Florida, leaving my campsite. Uh, why am I in a rush? Slow down, Eric. It's going to be a long day. Yep, thanks for joining me everyone. Olaf, he likes warm hugs. I will be uploading this video with some Nomad internet. Link below in the video description when I get back tonight after I edit all this together. All right, back over here to the beach at the Fort Wilderness Landing. Let's go out on this deck, port, pier. If you missed my last video from Fort Wilderness a couple days ago, we did a full tour of this place. And as you remember, it takes uh, about half the day for the sun to burn through here in Florida. It'll be here though, eventually. And it looks like we just missed this boat. They are full, but there'll be another one. There we go, we're gonna get on this one. Wait a minute, I just came from getting sick on a cruise last week. Is this really a good idea? <laughs> It'll be okay, it's a short cruise. Yeah. All right, there's the contemporary resort there. There goes that monorail unloading another load of people. Fun here. Very good, thank you. Thank you. Awesome. All right, here we are at the main entrance. Still celebrating 50 years. Beautiful train station there. Oh, hey, look at all the Christmas decorations and the beautiful, huge tree here. It'll be lit up tonight. All right, Main Street, USA. Just walking down, loving all the uh, Christmas decorations all over the park. Heck yeah, look at the castle all decorated for the 50th with the blue and pink and gold. I love it. The park just officially opened everywhere, so we're heading over to Adventureland first. There we go, Adventureland. Look at this, guys. Pirates of the Caribbean, five minutes. A walk on, yeah. This is worth getting here early. Actually, there was a delayed opening, so it's 10 minutes past the park opening. These people have just been walking by because it's closed. I walked by and it's open. Cool, got one ride done. It's gonna be a long day, some changes. So I did purchase a Genie Plus package. It fluctuates in price. Genie Plus replaces the old Fast Pass, which was free. Now it's pay to skip the line on certain attractions. And uh, today it's $19. It fluctuates between like 10 and 25, I think. Today it's 19 per person, which ain't that bad to skip the line. If you're a family of five though, that'd be almost $100 extra on top of your tickets and everything. So I did it because I'm by myself and it's quick. I just booked um, a Big Thunder Mountain in 10 minutes. So before we head over into Frontierland, let's make a U-turn. Let's go see if the Dole Whips are open yet. All right, some might say it's too early for a Dole Whip, but them's fighting words. Awesome, thank you. Have a good day. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. How many Dole Whips will I have today? I don't know. A couple different flavors going with the original pineapple soft serve Dole Whip. There's a lot to choose from today. Mmm. It's like breakfast. So, this year, I don't have any dining reservations here in Magic Kingdom, which is cool because I'm not going to be stuck at a sit down restaurant. I can just walk around and snack all day and keep hanging out at the park. So, no dining reservations. It's good stuff. You guys want some? Yeah, they're gonna do another show in uh, eight minutes here. So I'm gonna go check out the Enchanted Tiki Room. In the Tiki 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 Room. So thankfully, uh, Disney has brought back the refills for your park stay 
Uh, not $1.50 anymore, but $2.20. Kind of a random number, but went ahead and topped off so I can throw that in my backpack. Yeah. Well, you could always get the buckets, but they suspended the refills, the, the cheaper refills. So now they're back. Wow, wow. We'll have to come back. Splash Mountain is listed as temporarily closed. Not permanently yet, yet. In case you missed Disney news, Splash Mountain in both Disneyland and here in Disney World has an official close date of January 23. So you got about a month left before Splash Mountain is gone forever, transformed into a uh, Princess and the Frog ride. I'll try to get on it later. That's okay, we're gonna do a Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Uh, standby is 50 minutes, and we're gonna do Lightning Lane. Heck yeah. Skipping the line, skipping the line. I got a Lightning Lane pass, skipping the line, guys. Oh yeah. I think by the time we get on this ride, the sun may peek through. It's trying to. You already know it's the wildest ride in the wilderness. Oh yeah, you know Walt loves his trains. Yeah. long ride for a coaster in Disney. It's good. Well, we got on that ride so fast, I didn't have time to book my next lightning lane. Usually while you're in line, once you've checked in with your magic band, you can get your next lightning lane set up, but you know, you know, pull over and take a look and see what's next. Actually, it's got Haunted Mansion right over there. Oh, hang on, it's giving me some options here. We got Space Mountain, uh, 45 minute wait, Jingle Cruise, hour long wait with Genie Plus. Uh, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train is the only attraction not included with Disney Plus today, so you have to wait in line if you really want to go on that. But I got Haunted Mansion booked uh, in about 20 minutes. We'll walk slowly over that way. Actually, I take that back. They will still take my money for Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. It's an extra $11. You can buy a one-time pass for that a la carte. No. And uh, Splash Mountain is still down for today. Oh, wait a minute, a little impromptu parade here. Who we got there? Got Pluto, Goofy, Minnie Mouse, all in there. Celebration. 50th year. Where's Mickey? There we go, Chip and Dale. There's Mickey up there. That's Dale. <laughs> and Donald Duck on the back. Holy cow. Yeah, the Haunted Mansion line is wrapped, guys. This is crazy. And we're gonna sneak up to the front with my lightning lane pass. Spooky. There's no overlay for Christmas here at the Haunted Mansion. It's just scary. Come on with me, guys. Is this haunted room actually stretching? Or is it your imagination? Mm -hmm. And consider this dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows and no doors. <laughs> Which offers you this chilling challenge. 
to find a way out. <laughs> Right, heading through Fantasyland on my way to the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Don't even look at it. Don't sing it. It'll get stuck in your head all day. Don't do it. Just look away. Look away. Let's check Peter Pan's flight here. Standby. 75 minutes. Jeez. Today's a very busy day in the park. It's a non-special ticketed event. So on other nights, the park will close at 6 for a special ticket. So people don't come to those days. But tonight it's open till 11. Everybody is Everybody's enjoying Magic Kingdom today. Come on, sunshine. There's the carousel. There's the castle. There's Mickey's Philhar Magic. You can't film in there. I'm gonna go watch the show and see if there's any difference in it. Well, that was pretty much the same. I don't do too well with the 3D glasses. They mess with all that motions. I don't even wanna bring up motion sickness right now. I'm hungry, let's get a snack. All right, this might be a good place to get my first snack food at Friar's Nook. They're one of the few ones that are still only doing mobile ordering. You can't walk up and like at the Dole Whip station, can't do it. You got to do it on your phone through the app. All right. All right. They're preparing my order. Now we wait. All right. My order's ready. Pick up three. We're in line waiting. All right. Look at that. A dog and tots and a Coke Zero with the 50th anniversary cup. But there was no seating over there. So I had to come over here. Mm -hmm. No tater haters here. Oh yeah, comfort poo, that hit the spot. Let's, I checked uh, Splash Mountain, still not open. Let's go over to Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. My Magic Band Plus keeps vibrating and lighting up. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I know you're supposed to wave at certain stuff in Epcot, but I don't know what you do in Magic Kingdom. This could be a long wait. It's the shortest coaster in the entire park. But it's cool, I'll share it with you. <laughs> And that's it. Shortest ride at Disney World. Guess what just opened moments ago? It's open. It's almost like they were waiting for the sunshine to come out. I'm ready. We're gonna head over there right now. Well, it's definitely running. I'm just checking to see how wet everybody is. That's right after they come down the mountain there. There's somebody coming down. Yeah, the front looks to be the wettest. Let's do it, front row. <laughs>
the Splash Mountain gift store has already been completely revamped. There's nothing Splash Mountain in here. They have just kind of given up. Just a normal gift store now. Actually, not too bad. Just walking off the ride, I'm almost dry completely. I may have to go again. Just the thought of them demolishing this ride. I may go on again tonight, we'll see. Actually, we'll see about riding it again. The line got a lot longer. <laughs> Hang on, the uh, Sunshine Tree Terrace has Dole Whips, different Dole Whips. Oh, there we go, thank you. All right, it comes with Pop Rocks on top. That thing is gorgeous. You probably can't hear, but it, it's popping. Can you hear it popping? Jeez. Oh, Throw it on the ground. No, don't, no, that's really good. That's my favorite one. That's my favorite Dole Whip. See, it's Dole Whip with orange and Fanta, strawberry and red passion fruit syrup topped with popping candy. Jeez, jeez. Just a little bit of sugar today, a little bit. All right, we just got one more in Adventureland and then we can move on. Line starts down there. Not Jungle Cruise, but look closely, Jingle Cruise. All decked out for Christmas. As far as I know, there's only uh, two Christmas revamps here at Disney World. And that'll be Jingle Cruise and also Space Mountain is supposed to be playing some, some Christmas music. Let's do Jingle Cruise. And as many of you know, Jungle Cruise is not one of my favorite attractions. Uh, there's lots of puns. There's lots of funny stuff. I wasn't too impressed by the Christmas theme, really. Yeah, they threw some presents in. They put a Christmas wreath on the Jeep. This scene was totally unchanged. Uh, some of the jokes were a little different. This scene, just a couple presents there. Otherwise, uh, I, I think Jingle Cruise is exactly the same as Jungle Cruise. And I don't know if they toned it down this year for some specific reason or they put their money elsewhere, but uh, it's mainly just the normal ride. Now you see here a couple presents by the alligators. Otherwise, it's, uh, it's a normal ride, but it's still worth going to see. The elephants are awesome. Yeah, but you can skip this one. All right, leaving Adventureland. We're gonna head straight across past the castle. Well, good timing, because it looks like they're getting ready for some kind of a parade. We're gonna sneak right through since it hasn't started, and we might get stuck over here in Tomorrowland. That's okay. All right, we made it. Tomorrowland, there will be lots of parades. The first ones are always the most popular. We still got seven hours until the park closes. Let's check out the people mover first. There is one new attraction coming to Magic Kingdom eventually. Still under construction, not open yet. But we'll get a little peek of, peek of it on the People Mover. Anybody else feel like Tomorrowland might need a little update, you know? <laughs> it's not really Tomorrowland anymore. It's like yesterday land. It's like, it's Walt Disney original, but still. Hey, they changed the sign since I've been here last. It looks different. People Mover presented by Enterprise. That's different. The line moves pretty quick. It wasn't that bad. I'd say like 10 minutes. Such a classic. The People Mover. Yeah. Guess what it does? It moves people. <laughs> All right, there's our cart. It's a relaxing coaster. It goes faster though. And turbos, thrusters. There we this is go. The TTA. Yeah. Non-stop service around tomorrow. There's the castle. Oh, going inside. Oh, there's Walt Disney's vision. And a lot of the visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World. All right, there's Autopia. We're gonna do this one next. And there's Tron. I don't see any coaster. They've been doing practicing, I've been seeing on a couple channels. I don't see anything going on. They're still paving construction. But there are videos of the coaster moving in there. But not today. I want to come back another year. It opens next year, I think. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, not quite ready. All right. It's a pretty good ride. It's actually a really long ride. Now let's go race some cars. All right, we're in line. I know I've been saying this for years, but it, it's got to be just a matter of time before uh, the Walt Disney Company moves all these to electric, right? It's got to happen. Seems like it's much more important than tearing down Splash Mountain. Doesn't make any sense to me, but what do I know? It's an important attraction though. You know, for many kids, this is a, a rite of passage, you know? Drive, being able to drive these before you can drive a real car. It's just gotta happen. I want the blue one. I want blue. Oh, there goes my blue one. 
we got red. Well, at least it's a nice looking red, number six. The steering wheel is suspiciously on the wrong side, but okay. Yep, a purple steering wheel on the right side and one pedal. Okay. And we're off. Woohoo! Sayonara, suckers. I think red is faster. Look at that bank. Look at that bank. It's like Daytona. Yeah. Woo! We're hitting some traffic up here. Hitting some traffic. Look at this guy in front of me. Holy cow, dude. <coughs> How is that possible to drive that bad? Wow. <laughs> well, Red did good, first place. First place there. Yeah. I'm gonna go do car Carousel of Progress over there. Not gonna film it, get back to you when I get out of there. Love that show in there, the rotating stage and all the different scenes and technology. It's awesome. What to eat? I'm gonna stay in Tomorrowland and uh, look for a place to get dinner. Yeah. And parks are still pretty busy. I'm gonna check out Cosmic Ray's Starlight Cafe for dinner. All right, another Coke Zero. And uh, chicken tenders are under those fries, believe it or not. <laughs> not bad, 14 bucks for this. So, um, you know, a lot, lot cheaper than the dining restaurants and quicker. And do you see this view behind me of the castle? Nice. Well, I might be done with soda and sugar. I might be. Went in and got my mocha. It's that time of night, it's getting dark and Christmas lights are up everywhere. And people are starting to roll out of the park. This this happens often, especially families with little kids that uh, don't do too well and get a little cranky towards the end of the night. Looking forward to it. That castle's beautiful.
Yes, I'm tired, my feet hurt, and I'm anxious to get back to those kitties. But, like I mentioned in my first Fort Wilderness video, this is one of my favorite things to do here at the settlement. Going with the Sam Adams seasonal winter fest in front of a Christmas tree. First bit of alcohol all day. There's not a lot of alcohol at Magic Kingdom. When we get to Epcot, <laughs> we can go around the world. <laughs> get back to you when I finish this. See the kitties. I missed you so much, Opie. You missed me too? Yeah, man. Now, where's my food? I'll go get the food. Tara, I missed you too, girlfriend. You're not my real dad. Okay, well, guys, be well. I'm gonna get some sleep and get ready for Epcot in a couple days. See you here. Merry Christmas. Whoop.